Hey guys, so it's day one of my P90X Wonder Woman challenge and if you can't tell by the sweat, I just finished my first workout, um, Core Synergistics, but before I get into talking about the workout, I thought I would um, show you my weigh-in for the morning, so let's go and have a look at that. Okay guys, hi! <laughs> you can see me in the reflection of the, um, the glass. Anyway, time for official weigh-in, let's go. Oh, this is the wrong one. No, that's right. That's wrong. And number zero. Okay. No. Whoa, a little bit more than expected. I've gained weight. It's funny though, these scales, I just weighed myself before um, doing the filming and I was 96.9 and then I was 97.2, now I'm 97.5, oh, I'll just go to 97.5, it's funny though, it was not even two minutes ago. So I have put on weight, again, that just shows you how easy it is. To put on weight. Yep, 97.5 it is. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, 97.2, was it? 97? I don't know. I weighed myself before the workout. I can't remember what it was. 97.5, I think it was. I wasn't very happy. Um, I thought I was 96 because I weighed myself this morning and I was 96.8 or 96.9. And then when I go to film it and get on the scales, I've actually put on 700 grams. Don't know how that works. Anyway, so that's the goal. Um, so it's seven kilos now to lose before Christmas. I'm going to do it. Um, and so now I will show you some body shot images that I took just before I started working out. So um, after 30 days, I can compare the differences in my body. Let's go and check it out. So as you can see, I have a huge butt and I have a little bit of a stomach. Um, it was bigger at the beginning of the year because that's when I, I lost 10 kilos in the last nine months. So it was worse than this, but um, I, I have a figure, I have a shape. It's just very big. <laughs> so hopefully P90X will make that smaller. Anyway, so now I'm going to start talking about the actual workout, training, whatever. Um, so today was core synergistics as I told you and basically um, it's just a fancy work of basically working your core basically from your chest down to your hips your core muscles and strengthening your stomach area um, so this workout with a lot of push-ups a lot of different types of push-ups staggered push-ups um, and planking um, if you're not sure what a plank is it's basically a push-up but you're just um, holding the position and you're a straight like diagonal line, your butt's not in the air or anything like that. And um, a few of the moves, a lot of the moves I couldn't do. And so I um, moderated them, I changed them. Some things where I couldn't actually do them, some of them were like a plank and you run in the plank. I couldn't do that one, so I just moved my feet like in a running, in a running style, but slower. And um, in one of the videos I'll show you right now, I um, there's this one where you put a towel on the ground and you jump from side to side. And the first 30 seconds I started jumping side to side. 
Then by the 30 seconds, I was really tired, so I just stepped over it from side to side. Still doing the same movement, and you're still working out, you're still moving your body, and getting a sweat up, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was a really good workout. And this afternoon, I'm going to play netball, so that's two lots of working out for the day. And hopefully, I'll be eating healthy. Anyway. Talk to you again tonight when I get home. Excuse the glare in the glasses. I have a light shining right in my face, so it's a bit distracting. Um, but one of my goals is when I lose the seven kilos is to get contact lenses, so it won't be as bad for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you tonight after I finish netball. Bye bye. Back. Nice nine. Here we go. Reach way up. Come on back. Now, here's how you engage. Stomach. Back, glutes. Good, let's see it. Nice. You've got to keep your stomach muscles tight here. Those core muscles are so critical to hold that lunge to get those arms up straight. Come on, that's 13. Nice. Pick it up on the shelf. Pick it up on the shelf. Now, they might get out of sequence here. They're not here trying to be synchronized swimmers. They're just going at the speed and pace that works for them. So you don't want to go faster if you haven't done this before. If there was ever time you need to miss, if you're feeling kind of tuckered out, you can also experiment between both if you want. Let's check it out back here. He's got some knee hopping. Knees are way up. Soft landings. I want you to land on your toes. On your toes. And I want you to launch off of your toes. Don't come down on your arch and heel. You're going to hurt yourself. You can also step. Okay, I'm showing the step. Here we go. That's cool. That's 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go. Come on, crazy hot people. You can also go slow like this. If you want to go slow, you don't have to keep up with us. But if you're feeling loaded, loaded and good, in your knee and your elbow. Now look, see the lovely Dre right here? Her eyes are here. They're not down there. She's got the big range of motion because she's engaging her core muscles. So she's working them because they're strong with years of flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Let's pick up our speed. Again, and again, and again. Good. 18, 19, 20, 21, uh-huh, 22. Good look at Pam. Now that's called flexibility. Hey guys, so it's about 8.30 at night and um, I just came home from playing netball. I'm not going to explain what netball is. If you want to know um, what it is, research it. Um, I've explained it so many times to people and I'm just like, whatever. Because most of my American friends have no idea what netball is. But anyway, I just finished playing netball, so it was two 20 minute halves um, indoor netball and we won. Um, I think it was 28, 24 or something like that. We were ahead and then behind and then ahead again, and I was shooting really badly. Um, so, and we didn't win because of me, that's for sure. We won because everyone else was doing really well. <laughs> but it was 40 minutes of exercise, which is great. And I like playing team sports, so it was really good. Um, and I'm just cooking dinner right now, and then I'm going to edit this video and put it up. So it was a really good um, first day of P90X, my challenge. Um, I'm a little bit sore, a little bit stiff, so we'll wait and see what tomorrow brings. Also, if you want to know what program in P9X I'm using, there's actually a couple of different programs that you can use. Um, there's the normal one, which I'm not using, but I'm using the P9X Lean version. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't know, maybe it's meant to slim you down, not bulk you up in muscle. I don't know. I'm just doing that one. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go now, um, cook my dinner, edit this video, and go to sleep. Have a good night, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. So I thought I'd just show you what I'm having for dinner. I don't usually do food vlogs, but I thought, why not? I'm making dinner, and I just finished filming the other bit, so I'll just show you. Okay, so with every nighttime meal and every lunchtime meal I have, I have carrot, tomato, cucumber, and peas of some sort, um, and lettuce sometimes. I'm not a big lettuce eater, so I don't tend to do that. These are chicken sausages. I know what you're thinking. Why are you eating sausages? But they're chicken. They've got less fat in them. Um, I cook them in a bran oil 
which had no cholesterol in it, which is good for me. And then I pat them off so that they're not as oily and gross as they should be. But at the moment, I'm really poor. So I'm living on a poor person's budget at the moment. And also, a bottle of water. That's dinner.